fourth grade into math lesson 12, or sorry, 13.3. Relate angles to fractional parts of a circle. I can measure an angle as it relates to the fractional part of a circle. Spark your learning. For part of his art <laughs> career, Russian painter and art thinker Vasily Kandinsky focused on painting circles, half circles, angles, lines, and curves. In his paintings, he overlapped circles and used thick lines to cut circles into pieces forming angles. How can you describe the measure of the orange angle in the circle? Okay, so yesterday we took our little white pieces of paper, right? Okay, we kind of fit it into the angle that they gave us and then we marked it and we used it to go around to see how many either fit in the circle or the space that they provided for us, right? Okay. Well, today, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of look at it. And what do you notice that this forms here in this white space? A right angle, right? Okay. So if I was to cut this whole circle into pieces, how many of those white pieces would fit in that whole circle? Four, Four right? Okay. Because this part takes up what? One fourth, right? Okay. So if I continue to cut it straight across, so one fourth and then came down, one fourth and one fourth, would that get me three, or sorry, four one fourth pieces? Yes. Okay, so let's classify it a little bit more. So white equals how much of the circle? One fourth. One fourth. And orange, Orange equals how much of the circle? Build understanding. Number one, many painters and sculptors use circles in their works. Often it is helpful to know the measure of an angle when assembling different pieces. How can you describe the measure of this circle? Okay, so the full circle, does anybody know how much a full circle is? Um, like well, it's one whole bit degree wide. If I told you to rotate 360 degrees, would you stand here and then turn and get back in the same spot? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So this circle fully is what? How many degrees? 360. 360 degrees, right? Okay. So what they want you to do is how can you use a one fourth fraction piece to make an angle on the circle? Okay. So we want to get it to be like what it was on the other side to what? One fourth, right? Okay. So I gave you a ruler, right? Yeah. All right. If you took that ruler and you drew a line straight across the middle, what do you have now? Okay. And I gave you a ruler, so yours is a little more straight. Mine got a little crooked, but get yours straight. Okay. So that got us half. All right, guys. Now, what are we going to do? Do I, can I turn my paper and cut it in half again, just the other way? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to take it and cut it in half this way. And now do you have one fourth size pieces? Yes. yes. Okay, now they said, so now we have, what are each one of these pieces? They're all one fourth size pieces, right? Yeah. What if we didn't want a 90 degree angle? What could we have done? Could our um could our angles have been different? Could we have instead of drawing you guys leave yours, okay? But instead of drawing mine straight up and down, could I have drawn it like this? Yeah. Yeah. And then did that give me different angles other than 90 degrees? Okay, but they wanted one four size pieces that were equal. Would these pieces be equal? No. Okay. So we would have kept it that way. You know, we could have also made more pieces, right? We could have done eights and we could have just cut those in half even more, right? Okay, so that would have given us some different angles. Letter C, you have traced two fraction pieces. How can you label the total number of fraction pieces? So when we did the first two, what did we get? So they said we traced them, so I would kind of color this in. Remember, it doesn't have to be the prettiest, just get it kind of shaded in. So if I shaded in two of those, what does that equal? Two fours. Two fours, which is also equal to what? One half. 
It's the letter D. How many times will you need to turn the fraction piece to form the circle? So if I only had one of these up here, and it will, it will pretend like it's a little dial, and we just keep turning it and turning it and turning it, okay? How many times would I have to turn that to get it back to the original spot? Four times, right? Miss the letter E, how many angles came together to form the center of the circle? So how many total pieces do I have there? Because I have an angle right here. I have an angle right here. I have an angle right here. And I have an angle right here. So how many angles? Four, right? Let's go. So the measure of the circle is how many angles? four angles. Number two, in planning an abstract painting, Penn draws a circle and uses fraction pieces to make angles in the circle. What is the fractional measure of this shaded angle? Okay, so how many total pieces are there there? Eight, okay, so what is one piece? One eighth, right? Okay. So one piece would be one eighth. What's the next one? Two eighths. Two eighths. Next one? Three eighths. Three eighths. Next? Four eighths. Four eighths. Next? Five eighths. Five eighths. Six eighths. Seven eighths. Seven eighths. And then eight eighths. Okay. So letter A, how can you find the number of angles that come together in the center of the circle? So what do we do? We broke each piece into one eighth, right? And then you add all those up to get your total eight eighths. Okay, so letter B, what fraction of the circle is shaded green? So how many total pieces do we have shaded? Three, right? And there's how many um, total pieces of the circle? Eight. So three eighths of the circle. Second understanding, what is the fractional measure of the shaded angle? So first of all, we need to decide to the denominator. How many total pieces do we have? Five, Five right? Okay, how many are shaded? Three. Okay. Number two, how many pieces is that broken into? Four. One. It's not two because if it was two, it would go all the way through right does that line go all the way through yeah. no we don't even have a line we have a ray right yeah. okay so it's only one whole piece right because it's not broken into any and then the whole thing is shaded okay now what if that was not shaded i put up zero right so number three joyce cut a strawberry pie into 10 equal slices she shares seven slices of the pie with her family. What is the fractional measure of the angle of the pie that is left? Okay, so she had 10 whole pieces. She shares seven, and they want to know what is the fractional of the angle that is left. Okay, so do I need to say what she ate or how many are left there in that dish? Yeah. Left in the dish, right? So how many total pieces did I have? 10. And how many got left in the dish? Three. Three. So three tenths. Three tenths of the pie. On your own, number four, Mateo cut a pizza into eight equal pieces. He and Layla ate three of the pieces. How can you find the fractional measure of the angle of the pizza they ate? So eight pieces. They ate three pieces. And then how can you find it? So, how many total pieces are there? Eight, right? And then do they want to know how many they ate or was left over? Eight. Eight, right? So, what was, how many did they eat? Three. So, three eighths of the pizza. What is the fractional measure of the shaded angle? Okay, so how many total pieces do we have on five? You have 12 total pieces, and how many are colored in? Five. Okay.
can we simplify that? No. Okay, that is in simplest form. Number six, how many total pieces? Eight. And how many are colored in? Four. Can I simplify that? Yes, that's four eighths is also one half. Okay, now I could have put two fourths, but then is that in simplest form? No, if I would have still had to go again, right? Okay, you can do that. You just have to do another step. Number seven, Maya divided a circle into eight equal parts. She shades three angles of the circle. Then she shades two more angles. What is the fractional measure of the shaded angles of the circle? Okay, so how many total pieces do we have, guys? How many? Eight. Then she shades three and then shades two more. So how many total are shaded? Five. Okay. So what is the fractional measure of the unshaded angles of the circle? Do our pieces still stay the same? How many pieces there are? Yep. So our denominator stays the same. And then how many are unshaded? What's eight minus five? Three, right? Okay. Let's talk about number eight real quick. How do the shaded angles of the circles for problems five and six compare? So we have this purple shaded angles. We have these blue shaded angles. What are the angles of the purple compared to the blue? Are they less than or greater than? Right. So the purple angles are less than the, the blue angles, right? Okay. And since they're smaller, do you get more in the whole circle? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 